So here's a story about them coke days, you know? I mean, me and Mo, we used to go. We'd fucking jump roofs and shit like you wouldn't even believe. I mean, we'd take a little, and then we'd be riding our bicycles. We'd be riding our bicycles. Here's a typical night. Here's how it all began. Here's how it started. I'm going to walk you through a typical night of the cocaine syndrome. That's right. So you take a little, and you start riding your bikes, and you've never ridden your handlebars without your bike, and you've definitely never ridden your bike without your handlebars, yet you and your friend Mo are going. No really, no real speed yet, and you're just thinking you're still running kind of smooth, and you're just thinking, you know, I don't feel nothing, me neither. Maybe we ought to stop, and, and before you know it, it's too late, you've done it again. So then you get back on the bicycles, and you're going full speed ahead now. You're just a ba-boom, whoop, whoop, breaking speed limits on foot. That's right. So we're riding our bikes full speed ahead, and I look over, and I'm like, holy shit, you're riding your bike without handlebars. He looks over, he's like, so are you, and I'm like, I've never been able to ride my bike with no handlebars. I'm not, I'm, I don't have that great a balance. He's like, me neither. I'm like, holy shit, this is grand. So we went to our old elementary school. I can't say where. And we got to the elementary school and we decided to climb the roof. Not just one way, not just two ways, maybe three, four, or five. Because we went just about once every weekend, if not three or four. That's right, not four or five. That's how many different ways or more we could have gotten onto that roof. And we did. We're on the roof. We're walking around. We're talking. And before you know it, we're, we're sniffling again. Sick. That's right. <clears throat> Alka-Seltzer don't even help this syndrome. We were sitting up there, our noses were running, and we were fucking crying. Not out the fucking eyes, but crying out the nose. Because you know, because you know, I'm with Mo, and we got to go. But we ain't going nowhere yet, because we got to get to a higher point in the roof. So we're getting to a higher point in the roof. We're about three or four stories now, or about three or four stories in the air. So we're looking around, we're like, oh, we got to get down from the roof. So many different ways to get down. We've been up, we've been down, we've been out, we've been up, down, up, down. We've been up all around, we've been everywhere. You know, we've been up in the roof like eight, twelve different times. 15, 16, 26,000. Any more than you can imagine. Just up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, all around. So anyway, we're on the third story now. Now we're like, how are we going to get down? So many different ways to get up, but how are we going to get down? We could jump. We already jump. We jump from roof to roof. We always jump roofs. We're jumping like we're fucking insane. Parkour. Free running, you know? There's a long story to that one in my life. You gotta run, you gotta jump. You gotta fucking fall. You gotta fall to get down. You gotta fall to jump. In order to jump, you gotta be able to fall. You fall, you hit the ground. You rise above it all. Go pound, pound. So we're up there, you know, we're jumping roof to roof. I jump a roof. I climb up. He jumps the roof. He grabs on. He's hanging with one hand. Phone call. Hello? Oh, shit. It's the next dose of cocaine. Hold on. Mo, hold on. It's the dealer. Walking away. Yo, how much for how much? And then all of a sudden, how much for how much? Oh, what's that? Does it sparkle? Does it not sparkle? Is it rocky? You gotta chop it. How many times you gotta chop it? You cutting it or are you chopping it? If you're chopping it, what are you chopping it with? And what are you cutting it with? Because if we're chopping it with a meat cleaver, I want to cut it with some baking soda. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, Massimo's behind me hanging off the side of the building like, help me please. Brian! Three stories up now. We've never hit the ground at three stories. That's an injury. That's a hospital trip. That's an explanation. You can't afford an explanation when you're on cocaine. Sometimes it just takes you over. You don't want to have to explain to something, well, I got glass up my ass. We got $3,000 worth of property damage. We were climbing and jumping roofs at 4 a.m. in the morning. Fucked up on some cocaine. You want to know what kind of cocaine? That good cocaine. The kind you chop with a meat cleaver. The kind you cut with fucking rat poison and paint thinner. That shit that makes you go woo-wee. That shit that makes you sit there on the roof and make another phone call to a friend. It wasn't me, it was Mo. He gotta go. He was talking to an old, old, old friend from the old days, old times, other stories. But without the drugs, with other drugs. But that's right. So anyway, he's on the phone and this was the kind of cocaine, this was the kind of shit that would make you sit there on the phone, sitting on the roof of your elementary school at about three in the morning, looking at the stars, listening to music and thinking to yourself while talking to your friend and he says, well, what's it feel like? And you're sitting there and you're like, yo. And I'm sitting there like, what are you gonna say? I know what I'd say. And I didn't say it because he said it. And he says, you know, it kind of feels like I'm happy, man, for the first time in my life. And by that point, we were laughing hysterically. I almost fell off the roof. He almost jumped. It wouldn't be the first time, though, but it definitely would have been the first time. Because that's not the last time it happened. But I've seen him dive off a roof before. I'm talking about Mo. And he went real slow as he hit the ground. Oh, that was what I heard. So anyway, that was beer. That was alcohol. We're skipping that. We're back on cocaine after the math of it all. And that's right. By the time we realized what cocaine really did, it wasn't about riding our bikes with no handlebars. It wasn't even about feeling like a kid. It was the fact that we could do anything, anywhere, anyhow. Because if we believed it and we conceived it, my God, we could be it. And the overall point is that was a trip. That was one night. A story through the mouth, through me impersonating what a cokehead crack son of a bitch would be like and what I have acted like before in previous times in my life. Thank God this is over because just acting like it makes me want my makes me feel like my heart's going to explode. I want to giggle and I want to laugh. Good day, good night. Cocaine's a hell of a drug.